may remember, a WJCL 22 News exclusive last week told you about a mother in Baldwin Park. She's demanding action after shots were fired in her neighborhood. She says she had to shield her own children from the bullets. Now, after a weekend of violent shootings, including a mass shooting, we're checking back in with her. And as WJCL 22 News' Lydia Blackstone reports, Election Day matters more than ever to her this year. Neighbors here in Baldwin Park are taking action when it comes to crime. With today being Election Day, they say it's absolutely vital that they get judges and prosecutors in the position to put away these violent criminals. I, th I think that citizens should know if they are living next door to people that are violent criminals. Diana McGall lives on Mappa's Avenue, a street that has had over 50 criminal incidents in the past year, according to Savannah Police. She thinks the problem isn't policing, but prosecution. Three separate guys that were out on bond for murder. Some of them multiple murder charges. Why do we live in a city where there are violent criminals out on bond, repeat violent offenses? It's mind boggling to me. WJCL 22 News aired her story last week. She told us there was a hot spot of crime centered at one house. Ever since WJCL ran the story last week, this block has been quiet. The landlord denied to comment, but McGall says the house is now vacant. We won the battle, right? The, the gang house guys moved out, but the war is not over. The struggle city leaders are now facing after a string of shootings, including a mass shooting in Savannah over the weekend. Gun violence can happen anywhere, anytime, any neighborhood uh, to any person. McGall's neighborhood being one of the hot spots, she created a Facebook group called Signal 7 Savannah. And with almost a thousand members in it already, Savannians are ready to do their part in reporting crime, something city leaders are asking them to do. We recognize that we all have a role to play. You may not all grab your sidearm and go out and see what's going on, but certainly you can call. Another asked to go to the polls. We can arrest them all day long, but if they go into a criminal justice system that sends them back, particularly for violent crimes, um, this is the community's responsibility and the community's opportunity to play a major role uh, in that process. With prosecutors on the ballot to determine the fate of violent people. The gun violence in the city is going to take a huge effort from a lot of different stakeholders. Savannah police is asking for your help when it comes to tracking down these criminals. They say if you see something to say something, all that information on where to contact them is over on our website at WJCL.com. In Baldwin Park, Lydia Blackstone, WJCL 22 News. Lydia, thank you. FBI Atlanta and Savannah police are also seeking the public's help when it comes to investigating this weekend's mass shooting in Ellis Square. 11 people were hurt. To get involved, just scan the QR code on your screen or visit FBI.gov slash Ellis Square shooting. There you can submit any photos or videos taken around midnight on Saturday just prior to the shooting.